looted all in the name of COVID-19. Navali be easy by Konka. We've seen schools been empty for months. They pretend they've been fumigated while people could not eat. Rewarded this royal pata scandal. The motorcycles in the Eastern Cape, the ambulance. What be easy, these guys? But I, this week we hit an all new low. Ken, they built an unbelievable stadium. But it's a chicken shed, a stadium for 15 million rents. Local government capture will make state capture at a national level look like a picnic. They have been feasting. But instead of fixing the problems of our people, they call digital vibes. Yes. Yes. The government is launching footpaths. Wait, a footpath, and they call it the road. Have you told anybody that you reborn? But I fell and plastic iba ba mole ba seja. Kunzi, kunzi. Mark, you are correct. Evil does triumph when good people do nothing. But what is worse is that for so many of our political parties, they want to reduce this election to race, to divisions, to history, and they forget that actually this election is about people deserving better and deserving a leadership that comes from them. They forget that in fact, what the people deserve is a leadership with a vision to direct, to direct this nation to economic prosperity and social cohesion. Mm. I am sick and tired of politics of division. Mm. Our education system is failing today. Our young people are falling apart and are falling behind. Not only are they unemployed, but they are unemployable. Mm. Fellow South Africans. Members of the media. Maloba. I was with Bishop. I went to Mfule. I'll never forget for as long as I live. I sat next to Ngoko on the side of a clinic on a hot summer day. I said, Ngoko, what are you doing here? She said to me, Mtanam, I've been here at the clinic since 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There's been no service. I said to her, Mama, but you must vote for change. I said, I'm tired for, uh, for empty promises. Which is why today can never be a manifesto launch because the moment you say there's a manifesto, you are almost creating a list yeah. of empty promises. Yeah. What? We've heard it all before. Maybe this, maybe that. But we've heard it all before. Yeah. For that granny, she said to me, Mdanam, I don't even know if I can muster up the energy to go and vote. Because what is there to vote for? She's sick and tired of politics. She said, I'm scared of one thing today. Not only that COVID will get to me first, but then if it rains out here, my underlying comorbidities would be affected even worse. I was stumped for words. I looked at Meole, I didn't know what to say to her. I could feel her pain. Because she's expressing a pain of so many in our country. She's expressing the pain of that child who I saw in Amfuleni skipping over sewage while inhaling the most dangerous of all. Attracting diseases to her little lungs in a way that I've never seen before. I've seen it for so many. When you go to certain communities and when you arrive there, you say, Mara, why are there two South Africans? A South Africa where some people are wealthy and living in the best lives. And then how Jiga, not only three kilometers or five kilometers away, Okra Kasiada. And what defines Kasiada is that you get that there are no services. Too many of our towns are divided. 
She was echoing the story of so many that I saw in the Northwest that said, Ronald Zebi, how was I tender on to more? Didn't you have got a bad dog? Who did you have to go to a Kiao and now to a tender and represent a particular political party? Nerlo was Kopo. Koshiaka. When you know politics are rotten, even the legitimate king is no longer recognized. They want the one who will do just their work in a political environment. That's when you know that politics have captured local government that we don't even know when they say they are going to deliver. Or are they being honest? Or do they know what we are talking about? I want to tell you what this election is about. Don't make it about what it's not. Make it what it's about. And I want to say the following things. This election is about telling the corrupt that the days, their days are numbered. Mawahambe, amasela mawahambe! This election, this election is about taking power back to the people. Yes. It's about saying we are tired of councillors who are imported elsewhere, brought into our towns, and then when they are finished, they start earning their first salary. They buy four by fours and leave the town to go live somewhere else. We are tired. It's about giving power back to the people. Yes, of course. Who? Oh. This election is, is about saying all the people that got jobs because of their political connections and they are now water engineers, yet they can't even spell water. No. <laughs> it's about telling those people who are now we are coming to bring a professional po a public service that's going to change the people's lives. Oh, this election is not about yesterday. Our yesterday is with us. It's painful. But this election is about tomorrow. We can't keep going just for the sake of keeping going. You do what you do, you'll get what you've always got. This is time for change. Now I call it Independence Day. I call it Independence Day. One November will be remembered as a day that restored hope to our people that tomorrow can be better. It breaks my heart when I bump into families, black and white, saying we are uncertain about the future of our kids. I'm a husband to one wife, a father to three kids. And sometimes you wake up and you think to yourself, Kalalets or Kutuano and Daniel, where are they going to go? And you realize, oh no, if it is to be done, it is up to you and I. And I know one thing. When we started One South Africa, we said, indeed, it cannot be a South Africa that is divided. When we started One South Africa, we said communities can lead and that men and women who live in those areas are the people who know best what must happen in those areas. I am so proud of the associations that are here today that are present. For me, this tells me that actually, politics is far too important to be left up to politicians. Mm. It ought to be brought to the people who know what's happened. Mm. I'll never forget sitting with Ken Clark in his office, him telling me about the water problems they have. Now, if you run a soft drink business, water mm. is essential to your business. Mm. When you employ a thousand people, Ken, I'm sure if you shut your plant, Inokum Gijima will not only be building stadiums, it will be building places where people don't have no hope. Yeah. And I remember sitting with him, realizing what it, politicians want to come to them every five years, make fresh promises, and then disappear in that period. So one of the reasons I celebrate today is not that there's a diversity of people, of associations, and of communities. It's that actually there's a diversity of talent. You 
know in a political party to be a councillor, you have to have won a branch committee meeting. Again. Yeah. That's how you become a councillor. If you want to be a mayor, you must be the regional chairperson. Yeah. Right now we are saying, no, let the best lead and let the community tell us who the best yeah. people are. Yeah. That's why we are here. We are here because you can attract to public service doctors, lawyers, teachers. I have met young people of diverse talents. I have met people in South Africans who are saying, Rona, we are not here because of ideology. We are here to bring change to our towns, to our cities, to our streets. I've been so proud to hear from lawyers, musicians, sports people, sportswomen, citizens who are saying, we want to bring the most competent government. It demonstrates the power of the people. Perhaps to quote President Obama is to say we are the ones we have been waiting for. Uh -huh. yeah. I down we can't sit here and say it will be someone else. Because there will be no someone else. You're it. And you are the people. It reminds me so proudly of this democratic creed that says the people shall govern. I want to speak to you who are in this room today. And say this, let me warn you. You are standing as a ward councillor. You are standing as a candidate. Today we sign a pledge that says the people shall lead and the people shall govern. It is the people who nominated you. And believe you me, from one South Africa's point of view, you fail those people, we will be the first ones to come and work with the people for them to remove you. We are not going to wait for five years. We are not going to wait for faction. You don't need a disciplinary. You will go. Power to the people. You can't want power to the people only when you want their votes. You must have power to the people also when they are unhappy. The reason what councillors' houses are burnt is because they, they go to the political party, they ask, Muto Aberegi, Muto Aberegi, and then no one does anything. Then the community takes power into their own hands, and then people say, who we have an issue in South Africa. I am here to say to you, through the independent candidates movement, we are going to ensure more than anything that actually for all of us who are standing, for the people who are standing in communities, wherever you are, if you do not deliver for the people, let the people remove you, because the people themselves will come. Yes. This is the difference between what we are doing here and a political party. Yeah. You know, in a political party you have to call people, you have to have meetings with them, you have to have a disciplinary hearing, and then if they are in the wrong faction, then you fire them, but if they are in the right faction, you say, no, let us hold on to you. Don't stress. Because come Congress, you are going to vote for me. Right? Yeah. You know, I use Uber from time to time. When you are in an Uber, when you get into an Uber, you tell the Uber where the Uber must go. And when you get to where you are going, you rate the Uber, four star, five star, three star, whatever. I am here to tell you, Hori, what you are going to be is the Ubers of the community. Let the community tell you where you must go, how you must go there, and the community will rate you first. Secondly, I want to emphasize this pledge. Why we feel this election is about this pledge. The first point is that, of course, we want to depoliticize and professionalize local government. We have to end cater deployment. We have to end nepotism. We have to replace it with a clean and an agile and a collaborative model of community-based governments. What ultimately means is that there must be a new partnership between civic society business, religious grouping, and traditional leaders. I'm grateful when I speak to many traditional leaders who say, we are behind you. We support you. Yes. We can't be political, but our people are here. Because we are not political. Yes. We are there. We have to ensure that that works. Secondly, we want to ensure that municipalities are run by the best, by the most competent individuals. What Bishop Jones said earlier on is that these are citizens who must be honest, who are equipped and passionate about delivering basic services in a financially prudent and responsible manner. Local government is governed by the law. Local government says in simple terms, deliver for the people. It's in the Municipal Finance Management Act. 
It is in the Municipal Systems Act and it states categorically, deliver. You know, even in the ward committees, the ward committees themselves have become so politicized that they become branches of political parties. We want ward committees that represent a coalition of civic society, of businesses, of communities, working in communities. But I want to say, we've got to restore the dignity of the people and quality services to all and spearhead local government into an economic engine for job creation. We must, fellow South Africans, engage all citizens. Bring communities, bring them regular feedback. Nothing frustrates people than lies. You are not going to get everything you want to do in the first year. But don't treat citizens like idiots. Tell them the truth. And I think people understand it. They appreciate the honesty when we go before them and say, look, maybe we in the IDP we can do this this year and we can do that next year. But if we work together, we'll get there. We've got to honor the commitment that says the people shall govern. It says so in the Freedom Charter that we should strive together, sparing neither strength nor courage. And the people, the people shall govern and until democratic changes here have been won. Fellow South Africans, we've walked a long journey. We cannot allow our freedom to be captured by a few. The people are hungry. The people are hungry. I'm going today to call upon all the respective associations that are here. As we sign this pledge to the people, we do so representing that actually this is about the people. We are not bound here by politics, because we're not political. We're bound here by values of Ubuntu. That timeless story that says actually we are because you are. That something that sits innately within us whether you are black, white, Indian or colored that says together we can shape the future of our nation and together we can work together we can bring change so I'm going to invite the various representatives to come here and sign this pledge I've spoken to you about the principles that are here because we want to work together that's why I celebrate Bako Maiko correct? So fellow South Africans, I'm going to invite to invite change to the local municipality in Gauteng. I want to invite the New Horizon movement to come up. Would you make your way? Bishop, over to you. You can sign where that it says there. While you are doing that, I'm going to invite the Mopani Independent Movement from Greater Letrava Kolumpopo. Hala, hala, Sign, sealed, and delivered. in the famous stadium, the independence can cause a sign up at home.
Kasandra leka mor tabile chapa kwa le bwa kumu civic organization. Aye kwa le bwa le bwa awa. Kamar na 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 parubu lela. You stay here, Ken. Just stay up here. You don't mind. Michael, I give you some of the most independent civic organization. Bamola, OJS Moroka. Osana, 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 Osana. We're going to be much. Ah, Skoko. Give him that. Sab sab. Tiege na mola. We clam. So that how can it take a musor? Now I never agree to these things because it's not nature. Give me that day. Halala from Moses Kota and the local municipality. Banabatari. Banabatari. The only reason I wanted Banabatari is because Bakwa Malimane is from Northwest. You know how much of a Tuli province it was so called. Banabatari. Banabatari. Halala. Eric Babitze, a Vopropier Marno in Afrikaans, let's say, the Siedeberg local municipality, Siedeberg, is there a representative who is going to sign on that? I'll try it. Thank you, Tati. I'm going to say thank you, Harry. Thank you, Habedi. Following on. One South Africa movement unveiling candidates under its umbrella. It's time for a short break.